please, don't tease me, Nagatoro Senpai. God, that was cringe, wasn't it? I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> I'm never gonna do that again, because that was cringe. Anyways, let's go on with the video. Hello guys, I hope you're all having a great day, because I know I am. And uh, in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about a series called Nagatoro... Uh, 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 a series called Please Don't Tease Me, Miss Nagatoro. And uh, pretty much I'll be talking guys of my first impressions of like the first episode and tell you guys whether or not I will be watching this series. And uh, before I begin this video, make sure to of course go ahead and leave a like and of course go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you guys can keep up with all of my anime and manga uh, videos. Uh, I am planning to do a, a first impressions on the series called 86 today, so so, so make sure to do your subscribe to see that. And uh, yeah, so, so let's let's go on with this video. So, <clears throat> so Miss Nagatoro-san, this series is a series that a lot, and by a lot, I really do mean a lot of people have been, you know, criticizing by saying that this series is like Ozaki Chan, and this series is is gonna be the the main thing of, of the series, which you could say that it kind of will be. Because of the main themes of this story and stuff like that, but to be quite honest with you guys, I've I've been reading Ozaki Chan, I've seen the anime, I've been reading Naruto san and I'm going to watch the anime. Reason being is because these series are actually you know good, okay? They they're actually just really nice and simple. Um, romance comedy stories, right? Where you have the main female character teasing the main protagonist. It has this on Ozaki Chan and it has this on this series as well. And don't be fooled, okay? That's the first thing I want to say. Don't be fooled by what other people say about this series because this series is a really good series and you definitely won't, won't regret watching it because I know I won't. But, uh, Am I am, am I gonna watch the series? Yes, I'm going to, to be watching the, in this uh, uh, series. But before I should begin with me, you know, telling you guys why I'll be watching stuff like that, l let me uh, just give you guys pretty much a brief run through of what you know the first episode showed us. So pretty much the first episode showed us our main character. He's a pretty timid, timid character who likes to draw. He, he wants to draw his own manga, and that's pretty fun. But then he meets this girl called Nagatoro san and that's when the series starts to kick in. Because the main character because Nagatoro san she loves to tease our main character. She starts to teasing him and stuff like that. And you know, I think that that the main charm of this series is actually, you know, going to be the facial reactions that our main character does, right? He's a timid person. So, so seeing Nagatoro san teasing him is definitely going to be pretty funny, and that's the reason why I'm saying that don't be fooled by what other people say, because this series is definitely a series just for you to just turn off your brain and just have some fun, okay? That's all it is. It's just a funny series for you to just have fun and watch our, our main character get teased by the main female character Nagatoro san. And something that I really did actually, you know, enjoy about this series was definitely the whole thing of the uh, main character's past. Because right off the bat, when we get to see him, you know, getting, getting teased by, by Nagatoro san, the first thoughts that, you know, cross his mind is not that Oh, she is teasing me and stuff like that. No, he starts to recall his past about how how the people you know used to bully him when when he was a kid, and and he didn't like that, and he has an you know an emotional scars about that, and you you know I can kind of relate to that. I can kind of relate to be because I too was you know bullied when I was a kid. I I was okay when I was a kid. I, I used to, to get bullied just just like I'm being character. Right, they used to call me names and stuff like that. But luckily, as the years went on, I started to, you know, grow as a person. I started to, you know, uh, start to talk to people and stuff like that. So, so I managed to, you know, somewhat overcome those traumas. And I'm and, 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 and main character. He's actually going to have to go through the, those hardships, learning to, you know, overcome the, those hardships and be like, this is bleeding and this is 
teasing, okay? He has to figure out what is the main difference between them, and that's definitely going to be fun to see, okay? I really am excited to see what's going to happen next. Of course, I've, I've been reading the manga, so I kind of already know how this how the season is, is, is you know gonna go but even though i've read the manga i am excited to see what's actually gonna happen in that next episode i'm not gonna lie like the beginning of the series it's been a while since since i've read it in the manga so seeing it in an anime form i really am actually pretty excited to see it so am i gonna watch this series Yes, I am. I'm going to watch the series, and I'm sure that I'm going to have a blast laughing with this series. But I can definitely see why a lot of people would have some problems with this series as well, as it, you know, kind of tackles a few themes that, you know, can be a little bit iffy for some, some, some viewers, right? Especially with the whole fact that, you know, a main character, the, the way that, that he reacts to certain things and stuff like that, especially in this episode, it could definitely turn turn a few people off, right? I, I I could definitely see that. I could definitely see why some people would would be turned off. But I would recommend you to stay and watch this series. I would definitely recommend you watching it, watching the series because it's definitely one of those series that you're gonna have fun. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. When when I first heard like Ozaki Chan was getting a you know anime. At first, I was like everyone else that was saying, oh, Zaki Chan, this is going to be bad. And, and okay, I, I, I don't need to go into full in depth as, as, as to what happened with the whole Zaki Chan thing, right? Because I'm sure that you already know what happened. But I was one of those people. But then I sat down and watched the anime, and I was like, hey, this anime is actually pretty good. Hey. This anime is actually pretty funny. Let me read the manga, and that's exactly what I did. I I, I saw the anime, I read the manga, and I'm still reading the manga. And it's the same thing with this series. I can see, like like, like I, I I can just tell that there's gonna be a bunch of controversy when it comes to the series, especially with the first episode. Uh, and I'm sure that from this point onwards, we're gonna have a ton of controversies about this series. But even still. I would recommend you guys sticking to it, stick, sticking to this anime and watching it till the end because you're definitely going to have a ton of fun, okay? Because this series is not to trigger anyone or anything like that. This is just a simple romance comedy series about uh, our main character getting teased by our main female character just to have some laughs, okay? That's all there is. It's not being bullied or anything like that, it's just her teasing him right because when when I first saw this the name of this title right when I was reading the manga the the English title was please don't bully me Nagatoro Senpai right that was the, the name of the uh, of the English title for for the manga but in the anime it's called Please don't tease me, Nagatoro Senpai, which makes a lot of sense, okay? This title makes a lot of sense than the other one for the manga. So, I think that that's where the whole thing started with, with the whole, you know, English name of of the manga, right? I f think that that's where it started. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, please, watch the series. You're definitely not going to be disappointed. You're going to have a ton of fun with this series. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all, all that I got to say, guys. I hope you guys did, you know, enjoy this video. And I shall see you all next time.